Hello grade 12 students, my name is Teacher Gurley Ann, and welcome to our video lesson. Ako ang magiging kaagapay ninyo habang tinatahak ninyo ang asignaturang ito. Halina at ating simulan. Come and join me in exploring our first topic which is about fractions, decimals, and percentage. At the end of this session, you are expected to convert fractions to decimals and percent forms and vice versa. Para sa ating unang aralin, bibigyan ko kayo ng palaisipan para mainsayo ang inyong pag-unawa. Kumuha ng papel at simulan na natin. You were asked to buy 5.5 kilos of rice for the relief operation to be volunteered by your family. As you arrived home, your brother told you to divide the rice so that each recipient receives one fourth kilo in each bag. Given the situation, how many recipients will benefit from the relief operation? Pause for a while so that you can think and solve the problem, and once you are done, continue watching this video to see the possible solutions. Kamusta? Sa tingin mo ba ang kuha mo ang tamang sagot? Halina at ating tingnan. The solution is to divide 5.5 by 1 fourth. Yet, there are two ways to solve the problem. So, this is the first solution. First, we need to convert 5.5 to fraction. To do that, we need to remove the decimal place from 5.5 to 55. Then we will divide 55 by 10 raised to the number of decimal place. So in this example, the decimal place is only 1. We will divide 55 by 10 raised to 1 or simply 10. Okay, so we have now 55 divided by 10. And then simplifying the fraction further, we will divide both the numerator and the denominator with the same number. And that will be 5. And it will become now 11 over 2. Next is to divide this 11 over 2 by 1 fourth. So how do we divide two fractions? We simply multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. So 1 over 4 will be reversed and that will be 4 over 1. Multiplying the two, we will just multiply numerator to numerator and then denominator to denominator. So that is equal to 11 times 4, 44. 2 times 1 is 2. So the fraction now will be 44 over 2. Simplifying further, 44 divided by 2 is 22. Therefore, there are 22 recipients that will benefit from the relief operation. For the alternate solution, we will first convert 1 4 to decimal and to do this we need to divide the numerator by the denominator using the long division so we will have 1 divided by 4 and this is 0 so we will now add zeros and that will become 10 so 10 divided by 4 is 2 2 times 2 is 8 subtract 8 from 10 the remainder will be 2 Add again zeros, drop it down, then 20 divided by 4 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20, and 20, 20 subtracted to 20 is 0. So the remainder is 0. We have the decimal 0 0.25. Since we already converted the fraction 1 fourth, to decimal, we just simply divide 5.5 by 0 0.25. And to do this, we need to remove the decimal place from the dividend 0 0.25. So we will be moving two decimal places to the right, and that will now become 550 divided by 25. Dividing 550 by 25 by long division, we will first divide 
uh, 55 by 25 and that is 2 2 times 25 is 50 subtract it to 55 you will have a remainder of 5 drop down to 0 we will have to divide 50 by 25 and that is equal to 2 2 times 25 is 50 50 minus 50 is 0 so since the remainder now is 0 then 550 divided by 25 is 22. Therefore, there are 22 recipients that will benefit from the relief operation. Sa madaling sabi, ang dalawang solution ay parehong tama. Alin man sa dalawa ang inyong ginawa ay marapat lang na bigyang papremyo. Pwede ninyong ipasa ang papel na ginamit ninyo kasabay na pagpasa ninyo ng inyong module para mabigyan natin ng kaugnay na puntos. In continuation to the activity you have, we will now discuss how to express fraction to decimals and percent forms and vice versa. In converting fractions to decimal, we need to divide the numerator by the denominator using the process given from the previous section, or that is the long division. Now, if the quotient is a non-terminating decimal, determine the group of one or more digits eventually repeat and abbreviate the decimal using a vinculum. Example, if we need to convert 3 over 4 into decimal, first, we need to divide 3 by 4. So this is still using the long division. So since 3 divided by 4 is 0, again, we need to add zeros. So 30 divided by 4, we have 7. 7 times 4 is 28. Subtract it to 30, the remainder is 2. Drop down zeros again, 20 divided by 4 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20, the remainder is 0. Therefore, 3 over 4 is equal to 0 0.75. We convert a decimal to fraction with a denominator multiple of 10. That is 10 raised to the number of decimal places. And then reduce the said fraction to the lowest term. Example, convert 0 0.75 into fraction. So the solution of which is as follows. First, we need to remove the decimal place from 0 0.75 to 75. So since we move two decimal places, then we will have to divide 75 by 10 raised to 2, or that will be 75 over 100. Reducing the, fact, the fraction, 75 divided by 25 and then 100 divided by 25 will now become B, 3 over 4. Therefore, 0 0.75 is equal to 3 over 4. While in converting decimals into percent, you just simply move the decimal point two places to the right and then affix the percentage sign. The example of which is to convert 0 0.0065 into percent. Moving the decimal places two places to the right, then that will be 0 0.65. Then affix the percent sign, that will be 0 0.65%. In converting percentage into decimals, we move the decimal point two places to the left, as in dividing it by 100, and then we drop down the percent sign. Example, if we will convert 23.56% into decimal, then the solution will be moving the decimal places to the left twice. So that will be 0 0.2356. That remember that we drop down the percent sign. Next is to convert fraction into percent. So we simply change the fraction into decimal first using the previous discussion. And then we move the decimal point two places to the right and affix the percent symbol. Okay, so what if we have to convert 5 over 12 into percent? So first, we need to convert fraction to decimal, and that is to divide 5 by 
12 using the long division. 5 divided by 12 is 0. And then add zeros to the right of the decimal point. We will have 50 divided by 12 and that is 4. 4 times 12 is 48. Subtract it to 50, then you have a remainder of 20. 20 divided by 12 is 1. 1 times 12 is 12. Subtracting it to 20, we will have a remainder of 8. Add again zeros. 80 divided by 12 is 6. 6 times 12 is 72. 72 subtracted from 80 has a remainder of 8 again. So 80 divided by 12 is still 6. So continuing the process still, you will get a remainder of 8. Therefore, this is a continuing decimal. So 5 over 12 is equivalent to 0 0.4166666 and so on. So we just simply need to round it off and that will be 0 0.4167. Okay, now that we have converted fraction to decimal, we will now convert the decimal into percent by just simply moving the decimal places to times to the left, I mean to the right. Okay, so 0 0.4167 will now become 41.67%. Okay, so lastly, converting percentage into fraction is just you need to convert it first to decimal and then convert the result into fraction and then reduce to the lowest term. Okay, so the example is to convert 0.375% into fraction. So first we need to convert the percentage into decimal form. So moving the decimal place to the left that is equivalent to 0 0.00375. Remember to drop down the percentage symbol. And then finally we convert the decimal to fraction. So we will remove the decimal places that is equivalent to 375 and then divide 375 by 10 raised to the number of places you remove. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 decimal places. So 10 raised to 5 is 100,000. So 375, 375 divided by 100,000 shall be reduced and that is 75 over 20,000. Still, you can reduce the fraction. Simplifying it further, you will now get 3 over 800. Therefore, 0.375% is equivalent to 3 over 800 in fraction. Now, so those are the lessons when it comes to expressing fractions to decimals and percent forms and vice versa. You can always send a message to me whenever you have a question. At para naman sa dagdag kaalaman, maaari mong subukan ang aking inihanda na pagsusulit para sa inyo. The link is flashed on your screens and of course, your scores will be recorded. I will be waiting for your responses and see you in our next video lesson. Thank you, everyone.